my used RockShox Yari fork that I put on the 2021 Venus Nucleus is not running as smooth as it should be. And I think now is a good time to service the fork and also convert the travel. Let's go ahead and get started. I can't even find the service kits in stock right now. Whew. Oh, good thing eBay has some. Ooh. It is super hot in Arizona right now. It's gotta be like 115 degrees. Oh shoot. The service manual says I need 0W30 oil for the lowers, but all I have is Fox 20 weight gold. Can Fox 20 weight gold be used for lowers? Oh, it should work. Lots of people have done it in the past with great success. I don't want to buy any fork oil anyway. Oh wow, it looks like the air cap can be removed with the cassette tool. With the Fox I had to buy some like special socket, but with this I already have the tool to remove it. There's a ton of air trapped in this negative air chamber. It should not be this hard to push in. Oh. This is pretty disappointing. When I bought this fork, it said it was 160 millimeters travel, but the air shaft right here clearly says it's 170 millimeters travel. And I'm not even sure if this is a Debon air spring. If anything, it's one of the first iterations and it's changed a lot since then. So now it looks like I gotta go order a proper 2021 Debon air spring. I'll see you tomorrow. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. The service manual says to use RockShox Dynamic Seal Grease, but all I have on hand is this Slick Oleum, which I read online is pretty much the same thing. I've never messed with air tokens or bottomless tokens, so there's two installed already and I have two laying around, so might as well use four and see what the progressive craze is all about. The manual says to tighten the top air cap to 28 Newton meters. My torque wrench doesn't even go that high. I guess I'll just wing it.
available. The RockShox fork servicing and travel conversion is complete. And that was actually pretty simple. If I had all the right tools and the right service kits to start with, I probably could have got this done in an hour or maybe two. That travel conversion was just so easy. And I don't know if my digital angle finder app on my phone is correct. I doubt it, but it says the head tube angle is now one degree slacker. And it makes sense because the new 2021 Devon air shaft is said to make the fork sit higher. This fork just feels so smooth now. I should have done this right away when I got the fork. And I can't wait to get out to the trail. I'll leave a link to all the tools and service kit in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.